It's very simple. Multi-factor authentication. We've already talked about it, right? So any of your accounts that's got finances, not just cryptocurrency, anything that's got finance related information, you got to have more than one factor authentication. Now, if you use your mobile as your second factor of authentication, I told you about the SIM cloning and that's a huge attack and it was into cryptocurrencies where it started, but now we're seeing it all over the, um, especially in California, we see quite a few of those, right? So the thing, yeah, he must've logged out. I'm gonna log back in. The thing is, is you have to put in multi-factor authentication. So right now, anybody's listening to this or if you yourself, you have any account and you said you got a wallet, you have things like that. If you have any account that's set up with single factor authentication, change it today. You got to have multi-factor authentication because every time you log in with username and password, that password's stored in a database somewhere. So how secure is that? As Rojas was saying, you know, is exactly right. Everything's on an operating system. 